Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we are talking about some brand new highlighters guys and these are from Hourglass. Um, I'm not usually very enthusiastic about cream highlighters. These are cream highlighters by the way and they are called Flash, wait no, Vanish Flash Highlighting Stick. So I'm back to the story. I'm, I'm not really very enthusiastic about cream highlighters but I was really impressed, extremely impressed by the uh, Hourglass's um, Highlighter Palette Trio. Sure, they could have included some deeper mid-tone shades, but uh, the formula-wise, they were like stunning. Beautiful formula. So I had to try these. These are definitely pricey as, you know, Hourglass is very, very pricey. So these retail for $42, but you do get a good amount. I, I really expected to get much lesser than this probably. That's why I'm impressed by how much they, <clears throat> excuse me, how much they give you. You get 6.1 grams of product, which is definitely on the higher side. I would say not, a, not on the lower side at all. Just for reference, Becca's Shimmering Skin Perfectors, in the full size, you get eight grams of product, two grams more. Uh, and they retail for $38. Of course, you get two grams less and you pay more, $42 for this. But still, you know, I think it's it's still a good amount. And uh, our glass is obviously cruelty-free. I don't know if these are vegan or not. Uh, in fact, it doesn't say anything about even cruelty-free, but I just know that our glass is cruelty-free. Um, so yeah. $42 and you get 6.1 grams of product and there are five shades in total. Uh, I got to say uh, there are no mid-tone kind of shades. They're out of the five. Four shades are very pale um, I, and you do have just one darker bronze shade. It's which is called bronze flash. Uh, I didn't want to buy a lighter shade definitely to, just to see if it like leaves a uh, white cast or something and I was of course interested in other shades. <laughs> um, I also bought the rose gold flash color which is a rose gold color. I was very interested in the pale gold but it, it was the palest gold I've ever seen. It was really really light so I, I skipped. Um, so yeah $42, 6.1 grams uh, and I have out of the five, I have two shades to show you guys. So uh, let's just quickly look at the packaging. So um, I think the packaging is exactly the same as the foundation sticks. Um, I don't own the foundation, of course, but uh, they are very reflective silver packaging. And they do have this triangular kind of uh, thing situation going on. The packaging also is triangular and the product is also cut in a triangle shape. This really comes in handy when, you, when you're applying and when you're doing touch-ups. It's really good packaging. Uh, well, not the exterior packaging, just the shape of the product is really, really, I really appreciate the triangle side. Shape. Let me just do some swatches. This is a bronze flash and I didn't really exert a lot of pressure or anything, guys. The product itself is really creamy and do you see how opaque it is? Um, it's... It's, to be honest, the pigmentation is so beautiful that even when I use a stippling brush to pick up some product and apply it on the cheek, I get so much pigment. I've, I have used few um, cream highlighter sticks in the past and I would have to build up so much to the point it gets so tedious and I would just lose patience and just apply it straight away from the uh, from from the packaging uh, that's when you get complete opacity but these even if you pick it up with a stippling brush i use a stippling brush you can obviously use a sponge or whatever so even when i use a stippling brush i got very good pigmentation it wasn't like this obviously but i would say i got like um 70% of this pigmentation, when I, even when I use a stippling brush, I was so impressed, guys. I was so impressed with the pigmentation. And as you can see, the, it is not, there is no chunky glitter or anything. It is completely finely milled. Um, initially, when I saw the swatch and the product, it didn't look like a very glowy product, like a very youthful, glowy skin kind of product. Off sure, it looks frosty and it obviously catches the light, so it is going to glow and it's going to reflect and everything. But I didn't think it was like a very, you know how some, uh, like, 
highlighter sticks are kind of have that oily glowy kind of a look going on i didn't expect these to be that way but after like after you like buff it into the skin it really it really gives that glowy look i'm really impressed um and then do you see the rose gold i was a little bit disappointed with this color i honestly thought it might be darker but it's really really light guys it's definitely on the fr very very frosty side um one of the palest rose golds i've ever seen honestly um so yeah that is a rose gold shade both colors are very consistent with respect to opacity with respect to performance and everything so those are the two shades that i picked up i really wish they would come out with some mid-tone shades because out of the five colors four are very very pale colors sure the this color although it looks very pale it does not leave a white cast on me but although it doesn't leave a white cast on dark skin i feel there are shades that clash with my skin tone although they don't leave white cast and there are shades which really complement my skin tone so yeah those are the two shades that i caught um as i said they the the opacity is beautiful they are if you just apply it directly from the stick the opacity is stunning you just it's completely opaque you could definitely use a brush or a or a sponge um, and still the opacity is very very good I, as I said you get like 70% of the opacity as you get from like directly swiping it on your skin and I really lo love how how long it's worn on my skin um, I've just applied this on bare skin not with any kind of a foundation or, or concealer or any kind of makeup base or primer or a setting spray or any kind of a makeup product that would help with the longevity of the makeup this is just on skincare on top of that i've just applied it and it now i think it's it's been seven or eight hours since i've wear, worn this makeup and it's just it looks beautiful the longevity is beautiful and do you see how skin like it is i have this highlighter on here on on the forehead as well and you can't tell where the product begins and where the product ends i'm really impressed with how high quality and really good these products are you guys now i i i actually applied this bronze shade and then on top of that i wanted to see if this color really blends in because because of the packaging uh it would be very tedious and very discouraging for a person to mix two colors together highlighters together if it's like a powder highlighter it would be so easy just dip your brush in both colors and just apply it on your cheeks it would just work very easily but since they are cream products i really wanted to check if i could just layer it on top of uh, a different color and if it would blend and or or is it just going to sit on top of the cheeks and look kind of odd uh, so I apply, apply the bronze color first and I just in this portion of the cheeks, just in this area, I applied the rose gold shade and I just blended it a little bit with um with my brush, stippling brush. And I really like the way it the color has really melted in. The rose gold has really melted in with the bronze and the transition is actually quite seamless. Uh, obviously, you can't see it in, in, in the video, but in person, you can tell how it's moved on from like a golden bronze to like a rose rose gold bronze i really really like how seamless and very easy it is to mix multiple colors in this product line so that's a big plus for me and the fact that you can so easily blend them you guys they just melt into the skin so quickly and so easily there's hardly any blending at all needed I think the main reason for that is the shape of this a triangle it's I mean you can't really like go inside or over here or go very below here where you really need to apply the your blush I think the size is like perfect that it just it's just perfect for the tops of your cheekbones it's just that one one stripe of area but it doesn't look like a stripe because of how amazing the formula is it really blends and you don't really have to go in, in and blend the entire in, entire area as, as they say just blend the edges it's really easy to just blend the edges um, in fact it's much easier I know how I go on about saying that 
it's really easy to blend cover effects custom enhancer drops i think these are even more easier much much easier of course the cover effects custom enhancer drops are more versatile you can just apply it with anything and everything just mix it in or just use it uh, by themselves but when it comes to blendability i think these are really really easy of course these are not liquid so it's it's definitely much easier so i i also think they are so easy to touch up you can just carry these highlighter sticks wherever you want and just do a touch up although i don't think you really need to do any touch ups because as i said they just stay beautifully on your skin and just look so beautiful and they don't uh accentuate any fine lines any uh textures that you have on your skin i do have a little bit of pimple you, you can see maybe in person uh also maybe in the camera I, I don't know i'm not sure but it's not very pronounced i really like that it doesn't um give you a white cast the lighter shade because um, the majority of the shades are very very uh, they are on the lighter side so no white cast they don't accentuate any fine lines or any kind of texture they do mix the colors really do mix and blend very very easily you don't have to take any extra effort i really do like about that the opacity is where i was really really impressed you guys because all the cream highlighters that i've seen and used if i were to just use a brush i would have to build it at least five or six times and still it would look like a medium toned highlighter not intense but i was so impressed by how creamy and how opaque these highlighters were are ah, because i used a stippling brush and i got like at least 70 percent of the pigment that you see here i was really really very very impressed by the opacity and the pigmentation that it packs so all in all i think the the formula wise they are just fantastic two thumbs up definitely the formula is a win for me I just wish they would expand on the colors definitely would love some mid-tone colors and some deeper shades um although i think if you don't mind wearing very pale highlighters these don't leave a white well i'm just going on based on the rose gold color they do have like a very pale gold which i think would be more complementary on darker skin tone than the rose gold shade the rose gold definitely is cool toned and quite frosty but you can definitely layer it with a bronze color if you have it if if, if you wish to purchase it so um all in all i think it's a great product i just wish they would expand on the color range so yeah you guys hope you guys found this video useful please give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching it and please subscribe bye